Hello. Hi, everybody. Kayla Lords. John Brownstone. Of Loving BDSM, where we help kinsters like you have happy, healthy power exchange relationships. We're back for another answering one of your questions. Yeah. There should be like a Woo-hoo. cheering, like ah, that kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that. I mean, I don't know why, but there should be. Mm-mm. It would make me happy. And that's really all that matters. That's not what we're here for. We're <laughs> here because a kingster is trying to like be part of the in-person community, but they're struggling to make the connections they want to make. So hopefully we can help. Mm. Okay, let's get right into the question. All right. I've been an active member of the community for about three years, and I've gone to munches, rope classes, and even jams, a rope free for all, basically. Mm. I seem to start off overwhelmed when I get to a munch. I sometimes see people I know from other events, but when I try to open up and be social, it takes too much time. I feel like people have their group and end up just joining a group and sort of isolating myself from the rest of the event. It seems I may have found my physical community, but when it comes to a long-term partner, I seem to be striking out while it seems others are, quote, getting there. Any tips on how to properly open up and, I think they said meant get close. Mm Hmm. Hmm. I don't wow, that's that's kind of tough. It is, but there's there's a line in here that stood out to me from everything and I mm-hmm. think this could be part of the problem. It takes too much time. Mm. And and see that's something that you can't get around. It's it's going to take time. Mm-mm. And making friends with adults is one of the hardest things we it, do it as is. human beings. It uh, is. It's not like when you were a kid and your friend just happened to mm-hmm. be in the same class sitting next to you liked the same color crayon you like yeah. you know and and you know i i go back to something somebody told me when i was young um you know you're 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 thinking about a potential partner you know down down the road is part of the reason for doing this and that's that's well and good and you know it's understandable because we all want to meet our our partner or partners however it may be and I, I think sometimes you get too focused on finding a partner mm-hmm. and and you need to let go of that and step back and make friends in the community first. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Build a, a a friend base and and you then from there you never know what will happen. Right. And I, I agree with you. I think that there's Part of this, based on the actual question and how I'm sort of reading into it, is sort of this walking up to a group going, okay, I've seen them around, this should be fine, I'll just join the conversation, and then mm-hmm. having that moment where you feel awkward. And are do the people exist who can just seamlessly be part of the group? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think more of us than not <laughs> are sure. just awkward about it. And I, I think it's okay to just have a conversation at an event with one person with mm-hmm. two people to do what you call isolating yourself, but being with just one group for that event. Because the longer you're with the same people multiple mm-hmm. times at multiple different events, the more you either realize these are your people, these mm-hmm. are not your people. You right. might make a connection with a single person in the group, but that's the person who's happy to see you when you show up. Mm-hmm. But all of that takes right. time. And and you know what? You go with a group and you know, you spend the time with them and you may find out that they are not your people Mm -hmm. and that's okay. You, you move on and, and you look for your people. And I think there's something to that. I think if you're not easily getting comfortable with the same people you happen to be around after multiple events, I don't think you're doing anything wrong and I don't think they're necessarily doing anything wrong. I think the vibe might be off and Mm -hmm. maybe it's time to do that sort of awkward (laughs) mix Mm -hmm. mingle dance of, okay not these people but i'll just wander off to this group and i like i really suck at making friends i'm not a, uh, an easily social person in person at at actual events um but what i have found for me over the time over years is just being a good listener people really if they're ready to talk they really want to talk they are happy to talk about themselves if they can get started not all of us are like that but for people who are and you know who they're looking for they're looking for somebody who will listen to them and i have been drawn into conversations and into groups where people think like think i'm a great person and i think i said three words i 
all I did was listen. So if you're feeling awkward, but there's somebody having a conversation there that you're kind of interested in, or there's a group where you're like, I kind of like their vibe. I kind of would like to know more about them. Mm -hmm. Assuming it's not intrusive to do, like that can sometimes be hard to read. If it's a closed group and they're like shielding their bodies and it's not open and there's not a seat at the table or whatever, you know, maybe don't, you know, put yourself there. But if there's a seat at a table, and somebody's having a conversation that you're remotely interested in, just ask if you can sit there and you don't have to do anything else. If you'll just mm. listen, sometimes that will get you in with a group. And sometimes that'll help you figure out if that's the group you vibe with and mm. you don't actually have to do a lot necessarily. True. And you know what? I'll let you in on a little secret. You know, I have been attending munches and, and workshops and various lifestyle um, functions since the mid nineties. And there are times I feel awkward. Yeah. I think, I think you know? most of us do. I think yeah. every once in a while there's that, that extrovert that's also very confident and they just don't. But I think mm -hmm. more often than not, even the extroverts are going to have days where like, okay, what am I even talking about? Does anybody yeah. even like me? What, it, what does anything <laughs> even mean? I think we all have those moments. Sure. Some of us have them more often than not. Um, some of us are, just feel like we're awkward people. There's also <laughs> the thing I've noticed um, where it's a, there's a word I want. Continuity is not quite the the right word, but where mm -hmm. you see the same people over and over again, it's a time thing and a sort of a numbers thing. I have, you know, come into contact with people very infrequently in our in-person community, and yet people are very kind to me. Part of it is because they know John Brownstone and they like him. And part of it is they've seen me often enough to have a comfort level with me. And so, you know, you talk about, you know, ending up joining a group and sort of isolating. But if you join that group often enough, again, if the vibes are right, and they just see you often enough, people sort of start to associate you with these mm -hmm. events and like, oh, you're part of our group. I don't know much about you, but sure, I'll, you know, you're here and I accept you. Right. And again, it goes back to it being a time thing. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I would consider as a okay. way to maybe help you find people, friends, like I know you're looking for a long-term partner, but I'm with JB, please, please, please start with friendships. It's just, I think unless you're at an event where the whole point is to meet people mm -hmm. specifically for like the kink or dating scene, just yeah. start with friends. But what you can do as somebody who has been in your community for three years, you're not new anymore. You might feel new. <laughs> you might not feel like you're in an in crowd, but you're not new. So what you might be able to do, depending on your comfort level or how mm -hmm. brave you're feeling that day, is when a new person shows up, you go introduce yourself to them. If you've gone to an event mm. often enough and you're like, I have never seen this person in my life, go introduce yourself, ask, maybe don't assume, but just go, hey, are you new here? Is this your first time? And if they you know, are willing to engage in conversation and they're like, yeah, this is, I'm so nervous, I don't know. <laughs> you get to be that ambassador and you get to strike up the conversation. True, true. And it might feel awkward at first if you're not comfortable doing that, but that's a, a little bit of a practice thing. The more often you do it, the easier ish. Like it strengthening a muscle, yeah. Right. And then you're seeking people out and helping people feel welcome, and you might find a friend group in that. Mm -hmm. And all, and you did the thing that most newbies desperately need. They need somebody to come talk to them first. You know, I think you might have been better off if maybe you had had that experience in the beginning and had mm. people come up to you often enough, consistently enough that you felt like, hey, this is a person I know. We're friendly, even if we're not friends. I can always go talk to them, right? right. That's the kind of thing that builds those connections. And three years, yeah, you've definitely got more experience maybe than you realize. And you can be that person for somebody new. And then you may have found a friend. Right. Do it often enough. Mm-hmm. So that's the that's what comes to my mind. Yeah, yeah. It's hard that's for me good... to answer a question like this, me personally, because I am so socially awkward. I'm fine-ish uh, with a camera and a microphone mm -hmm. and an internet connection, but a group of people? <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? But I know the things I appreciate. I know the things that I wasn't trying to do, but seemed to work. That listening thing goes a mm -hmm. long, long way. <laughs> 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 you don't even have to know what to say if you can get somebody else talking True. and just listen to them. And you learn about them. And then you learn, is this a person I want to be around? And people like to be listened to. Sure. You know, They like to feel seen. And if you mm -hmm. can do that for somebody else, then you start building that connection. True, true. But I think it goes back to to very you got to be patient and i know yeah. 
after three years, you know, I think there may, I would imagine there are people you know that you've seen often enough. Maybe you just don't categorize them in the friend group yet. Or the if you're looking for a long-term partner, you're like, they're not partner people. That's fine. Are they friend people? Mm-hmm. Can they be people that you're friendly enough with that if you walk into a room, you can, you feel comfortable walking up to and going, hey, how you doing? Hadn't seen you in a while. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I sit here at this table with you or whatever? Right. And that's how those things kind of start. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Anything else you would add? I think we've said all there is to say okay so i'm an awkward weirdo jb just makes friends easier than the average human so if you have been in a situation (laughs) like this and you have found things that work for you please 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 feel free to share them in the comments below we can all learn from one another Mm -hmm. um if you have been um on the receiving end or you're the one that reaches out you're you know who collects friends talk about what works for you Mm -hmm. and what you know ways people can do that um if you have your own question we have a link in the description box you can send it to us might become a future video never know you never know Uh, if you enjoyed this we love a thumbs up if Mm -hmm. you like it enough to want to come back for more please consider subscribing and just go ahead and ring that notification bell to get updates, new content. Just do what daddy says. Uh, If you really like us, want (laughs) to get more of us, get access to an online community uh, through a discord server, um, more content, more, more, just more. You can join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Kayla Lords. You can join for as little as $2 a month link down below. 